This is Miss Sandra. Today I want to introduce you to Georgia O'Keeffe. She was an American artist. She's most famous for her flower paintings, but she also did many pictures of New York City and the desert in New Mexico, which was her favorite place. She often took what she saw around her and she simplified it, making it much, much bigger than it would be in real life. When she painted a flower or a shell or a bone that she found in the desert, it would take up as much space in her painting as a skyscraper. She said that nobody really sees small things, so she would paint them big and surprise people into looking at them. This is her painting called New York Street with Moon. She said she painted New York as she felt it. It has lots of strong lines and blocks of light and dark. Many of her city paintings were night scenes. Why do you think she did that? How do you feel when you look up at night? This is one of her most famous paintings. In real life, it's four feet tall. We have this book in the adult section of the library, but once we're open again, I'd be glad to share it with you if you want to see big pictures of her big flowers. When people first saw her enormous flower paintings, they said that they made them feel like butterflies. Next is a shell picture. It's a snail shell, so in real life, it was probably only about the size of these shells. But this is white shell with red. It's almost as big as the New York street painting. She made this painting with pastels. Pastels are ground up color and sticks. They're like a mix of crayons and chalk. They smudge really nicely like chalk, so you can mix colors well, but they can make really deep colors like crayons. You can see how it's a simple picture, but the shape and the extra color make it feel strong. She did a painting that looked a lot like this. It's called Red Hill and White Shell. Do you think the background here is supposed to be the desert too? Do you think the desert is a good backdrop for a shell? To make your own picture, you'll need a pencil and paper and something to draw. Something natural is great. If you have rocks or shells you like already, if it's nice, you can go outside so you can find a rock, even a stick. She used to paint sticks with interesting shapes, a flower if you find one that's okay to pick, even a leaf. If it's not good to go outside, See if you can find a picture of something to draw in a book or a magazine, even online. You also want something in color with. I've got colored pencils, so I'm going to use those. But you can use chalk, markers, paint if you've got it. And an eraser is probably a good thing to hang on to, too. So, step one, draw it big. Remember what she said about tricking people into looking at the little things. The other hard part is try not to worry too much about details. You can see in all these pictures, the line is really the strong part. So remember how she simplified things, but that kind of showed them off. If you're working with chalk or with colored pencils or even just a plain pencil, you can try a little bit of blending on your own. What you want to do is take, if you've got paper towels or tissues, and tear a little bit off and wrap it around your finger. And then you're going to rub where you've colored. And you can see that the white around it is a little less white, and the color is lighter. And if you have enough layers of color together, it'll blend them together more. No matter how hard you try, at some point, you're going to rub into a part that you didn't quite want that much color, and sometimes this eraser can help. You can get that white spot bit back a little bit with erasing. So once you've got your main, all you need to do is think about what you want for a background. Do you want streaks of color, bright colors, dark colors? Sometimes George O'Keefe would use what she saw outside her window as background for her work. Sometimes it was land, sometimes the sky, sometimes both. Would you want to draw what you see out the window today? See what works for you and what colors you like. Enjoy!